afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jay, and today we'll be taking a look at the Q Man Lego Trans Collector, Fast Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Thunder Sauropod. So, this is part two of the long review I was talking about. You can see the first part in the link in the description below if you have missed it. The remake of the first one will be coming out soon, but for now, I'm just going to focus on these two figures. So, these figures, there are some problems with one of them. Let's just keep it at that for now. So, let's take a look at each of them individually. And, yeah, let's go. Then, by color order, we're going to look at the, at the fast Tyrannosaurus Rex first. Now, this is the iffiest of them all. This is the worst that I could even comprehend of all the figures. But first, let's get into the box. Box art, it shows uh, the figure. It doesn't resemble the T-Rex in any way. Fast Tyrannosaurus Rex. Zoom in. Zoom in now. Fast Tyrannosaurus Rex. On the back, we see parts of transformation. This is number... 41203, the part part the three is obscured by the sticker. So yeah, that's the box for you. Now the figure itself. Oh boy, the figure itself. It's it's box mode is okay. I mean it's not perfect, but it's okay. The box mode at least it's okay. The robot mode, it's the robot mode which I which I have big complaints about Powering this guy is very easy first you take the legs and then you pull them up from the body not all the way we'll get to back in a moment then you get to the center and then you pull out the head and you just flip it up then you flip up the tail and then you just turn the feet so that the toes are facing down then you fold up the guns and the guns actually concern me a lot so I'll be addressing this. I'll be addressing this later. Then you fold up the arms, which is actually a little hard, and that's it. It's a very simple and easy transformation. And what you get is uh, an iffy T-Rex mode at best. The figure itself is uh, iffy in robot mode. So this is supposed to be a T-Rex. This doesn't remind me of any existing T-Rex ever. Maybe the head, but aside from that, it doesn't look like any T-Rex. And if I'm being honest, it reminds me a lot more of of Yoshi from Mario, for some reason. Yoshi, that weird dinosaur guy. Now, the figure is, well, it's uh, um, unique. Let's just keep it as that. Aside from being look, aside from looking like a, a Yoshi that just went through something scary and just it stuck with him forever. Posability on this guy is very simplistic but interesting at the same time. So the head can move up and down on a ball joint. It can move up the right because of how the head's constructed, and the mouth is weird. The mouth is just simply a little weird because the mouth can open ninety degrees out but cannot close all the way. But it can also open its mouth so that it can form essentially a, an upper jaw of some sort. I appreciate the fact that they colored the inside red. The instructions allow you to put, make the inside red. It's nice. Again, a callback, the ball joint cannot move on its own on the head, but probably can. Then the neck, the base of the neck is on a ball joint, so you can move the head left and right. The arms, you already know, tiny arms, it's just hinge joints. That's all. They, that's as far as they go. The guns, they can move up, they can move down, they can turn left and right, but I didn't show it for, well, I'm showing it for reasons. Then the legs can move forward and back on rotation joints, they cannot move in and out, sadly. The, the feet itself are on ball joints, so they can move up and down, and also inside and out. Then the toes can also bend, and you can turn this thing. So you can turn the base of the foot. And finally, the, the tail is on a ball joint. That's a very simplistic possibility, but it's it's good. Good enough. Size comparison. For the size comparison, I decided to use the other dinosaur, the Triceratops. And quite frankly, it, it scales with the T-Rex pretty well. 
It kind of reminds me of how a T-Rex in real life would scale to a Triceratops in real life. It just does, so yeah. Now for some final thoughts. The figure is okay, but there is an aspect of it which I find worrying. The cannons, especially the, the cannons that are on his legs, are on these magnifying glass parts. So whenever you try to move them, uh, especially if you have them tight, they will most they will most likely be wearing and molding and it will basically be bending until I, I fear at one point it will break. So for this figure, I didn't put it all 100%. I just put it so that it actually just stays there, but doesn't peg in. It doesn't peg in at all. If it pegged in, then the pl the plastic will begin to mar. So that's, that's a bit of a worrying complaint about this guy. Aside from that, the figure is okay, uh, despite being the worst. But if I'm being honest, I, I, I find room for love. I have love for it. Just be wary of these. There are no spare parts for these, if you're wondering. Next, we have the Thunder Sauropod. And I fear that I have I may have spawned something in the comments section. So, yeah, before you ask, this is not meant to be a Brontosaurus or a Parasaurus, anyone. If anyone's asking, no. Do not start it in the comments. I do not want any wars in my comments, please. Thank you. The box mode is actually quite okay, although this part here makes it hard for it to stand flat. As you can clearly see. It looks okay. The back, it's... I mean, it, it just looks like a tail full of that, but I can forgive that. Aside from that little piece being stuck out, I'm okay with that. And before we get to transformation, let's just take a look at the box. <laughs> so again, we got Thunder Sauropod here. And he's number 41204. Let's get this guy transformed. To transform this guy, first off, you fold up the outsides of the legs. And then you get the head. But first you fold out the tail. Then the head, it's a real piece of origami. First, you have to fold up the head by the neck point, by the neck joint, which is facing sideways. Then you turn the head up, and then you rotate that part of the neck. And I messed up at this point. I put the head already, but first you actually have to bend it, and then rotate 180 degrees, and then you lift it up. Then you turn the head around, and then you turn the neck around, and then you turn the head around. Next, you fold up the legs, try to get that aligned, and then fold up these blue pieces which have no reason to be there. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Then you just align everything up. And then you will, then you just fold up the missile pods. They're, they're just missile pods of thrusters, I think. Overall, it's a very simple transformation and I like it. And it gives us a cute little dinosaur. The size comparison for the for the blue dinosaur, I mean the thunder sauropod, is it's bigger than it, the horn dinosaur. In fact, it's so big that it's actually bigger than the fast tyrannosaurus rex itself. Yeah, this is the biggest one in the fig in the line. Next is the posability. The head can move up and down on a ball joint. Actually, the whole neck is on a ball joint on ball joints, so you can get a good range of posability from 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 the neck itself. Then the legs are on ball joints, well first the rockets are hinge joints, so the, the legs are on ball joints and as you can see here, there's a bit of a problem with the, with the, with the man, with the assembly. There is, the leg, the back parts have the tendency to pop off. The back legs are also on ball joints. And the tail is actually on two hinge joints, but one of them can actually swivel and that's the base of the tail. So you can get a good range of possibility from this guy. So yeah, just have to be wary about those parts coming off and yeah, you're pretty much good with this figure. Overall, this figure is very nice. If I'm being honest, uh, it's quite, well, it's nice, but it just looks like a baby. 
It really does look like a baby sauropod, but I don't mind that at all. It's a baby sauropod with thrusters or missiles or whatever those things on the side are. So, yeah. So, let's get into my final thoughts. All jokes aside, I really like these figures. They are nice. They are, they are, they are dinosaur themed, yes. My only complaint is that this guy has a has a hard time holding together, especially on the legs when you don't peg them all together. And the magnifying glass parts are the magnifying glass parts are quite easy to break if you peg them all the way. So that's my only real complaint for this guy. The sauropod it doesn't have many complaints as well as except for the fact that this the, the leg part might just disassemble itself. That's the only complaint I can think of this guy. So yeah, so if you want to check out part three of my of my of the series which I'm making, hit the subscribe button, like and share this content with your friend, of course. And if you want to check out part one, the link will again be in the description. And if you want to buy, purchase these guys, I suggest that you also take a look in the description. The link will be there. So yeah. So that was the Q-Man, Trans Collector, Machine Armor, Beast Cube, Fast Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Thunder Sauropod. Please don't start a war on this guy in the comments section. Help us stop the Jelly Bean <laughs> Uprising, probably. And yeah, so this is Jay, and have a good day, will ya?